Breaker Alpha Foxtrot, this is the wizard. Do you read me, Sitting Duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're Sitting Duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've gotta loosen up. If we're gonna get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you could power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Security computer. The spotlights are offline. There goes the laser security system. I'm working on the security gate. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Hey, 
station. The clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept at a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. <laughs> Okay, all clear. Another barrier stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. <laughs> Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comlita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts! Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! Hey, come back here, Ringtail! Oh, Wait up, fly! Shake a leg, Murray. It's time to go. Freeze! This wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. Stop! Please! <laughs> You can't run forever! This is getting a little hot. You guys go warm up the van. 
I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that Constable Neela, was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future. But I won't let it be a repeat of my past. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumping music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight.
It's gonna be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocucom. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. Fascinating! The message you just found appears to be some sort of clue! I'll decipher it here in the safe house! In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the coat. Sly, if you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick, I'll beam some virtual markers into your thief mask. They'll help you find your way around. If no markers are in view, use the analog stick to move the camera and look around for them. Remember, the view is always better from the rooftops. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. First 
once in position. I've uploaded the next waypoint into your lead fast imager. Remember, click the L3 button to locate your next objective. work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar.
See you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back? Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Fear the Murray! <laughs> Sly, let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner.
In order to shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. Sneak up behind him and press the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then, the square button to slam and finish him off. Got that? The triangle button, then the square button. That sneak attack slam move only works on guards who haven't seen you. Wait until this guy turns his back, and then let him have it. If you get in a fight with those rats, the sneak attack won't work. It's purely a stealth move. <laughs> Me! 
Dimitri's operation. Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. Tap the R3 button, you know, click the right analog stick, to bring up your binocucom. It's already outfitted with a spy cam. Slide, use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo targets. Tap the R1 button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. That's our target, Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international forger. Ingenious! Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money! That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. your binocu cop by pressing the R3 button. You know, the right analog stick that adjusts the camera. Click it to look for your binoculars. They'll be useful for finding the new job starts I've placed around town. Plus, they'll let you read the job titles. is clear for what? Of that I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. Thank <laughs> you. 
Juice. Smooth. Dig the kinetic. Kinetic. Mm. Uh. Aha! Good job telling him, Sly. He had no idea you were watching while he typed in that secret code. Hold on. Looks like that door leads to the nightclub's aqua pump. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with a fine heart. Take any damage and the painting's ruined. <laughs> It's all right. I never was one for the direct approach. Swell, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent.
three, one. Jeez, I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp moves near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw. Got it. <laughs> You're strong, Murray. Try picking up other stuff in the room. 
Okay, fellas, I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers, but we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the spotlight control center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull out the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. Thank <laughs> you. 